hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel divine and gifted i am shay how are you guys what's up i am here to do a quick little reading before i get started with my other work that i'm about to be doing how are you guys happy thursday happy thursday so we're gonna do a quick little love quickie okay quick cute and simple so Understand this is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with you. Please take this message how it resonates. Also, um, if you would like to stay in contact with me, book a reading with me, all the information that you need is in the description box below. If you would like to leave me a token of love, Shade of Goddess at the Cash App, and also my PayPal is in the description box, okay? So, let's hop right in. Let's hop right in. Please understand this is a general message, okay? I also feel like some of you guys are about to take flight. I know this is about to be a love reading, but some of you guys are about to take flight. Some of you guys are headed in a new direction, go towards new things, having new ideas. Explore, 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 explore. Okay. So, because actually, I'll use it next time. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Can we get a healing message, please? Can we get a healing message for the collective when it comes to love? Working in the highest place for the highest favor. Collective energy, please. Current energy for the collective. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to love? Thank you so much. It says keep your dreams alive. And I feel like with this keep your dreams alive, spirit is basically saying when it comes to love, keep believing in it. Um, look how beautiful this card is. Also, I feel like this is also saying make a wish. Um, don't get too specific when it's because, you know, black people can't say specific. Don't get too specific when you're trying to manifest. You get what I'm saying? Just know that you want a, a healed energy, an energy that's going to really care about you, an energy that's going to invest in you, an energy that's going to reciprocate the love that you're giving. You get what I'm saying? An energy that is patient, understanding um and interested hello period but i just feel like this is make a wish um it's, it's time for to be creative it's time to start flirting getting back out there dating with this keep your dreams alive don't forget the beauty of love okay um so i got a book here to read what this is about why you always touch stuff? Because it was right here. Well, I guess it wasn't meant for me to see it. I moved my crystals. That's why my my um my cards are like this because I moved my crystals. Oh, because I got like three decks right here that I'm about to use. Okay, so anyways. So be spontaneous and trust your own understanding. Be spontaneous, trust your own understanding, listening to your intuition, allowing it to guide you, but also, like I said, flirting, have that childlike, that flirtatious energy coming through. So we also have a 25, which came out. And this says, start to identify plans and actions that will lead you to achieve your dreams and goals. Your dreams can become your reality. This is a time when you need to be able to apply detailed planning in order to manifest your dreams and realize your goals. You need to remain focused on the practical side of things. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. It is easy to be distracted by more ideas and concepts. Keep focused on what is realistic and achievable. Your common sense and pragmatic approach will lead you to a solution that actually works. Being Begin taking steps that will bring you closer to your dreams. Now, because this also just ties into what I just said. Some of you guys are on to new things, new horizons, new, new, new ideas, new everything. You guys are in alignment with a sense of newness. So use this newness, use this creative drive, this passion, this motivation to help you push you towards your dreams, your wishes and fulfillments. Now, for those of you who are looking to be in a relationship, who are single, you guys are needing to watch how it is you're manifesting. Don't make it so personal. Don't make it so perfect. It does not have to be exact to the T. Spirit, I just want somebody who's for me, who's going to care about me, who's not attached to anyone else. Please, can I get somebody that's genuine about me and my kids in my case? Me and my kids. You get what I'm saying? I'm just using me as an example. 
but I'm just saying that's genuine for me and my kids. Can I get somebody who's in alignment with my soul's growth and my highest good? You get me? These are all the things that you would need it to be asked when it says, keep your dreams alive. Don't be so boxed in when it comes to manifesting the love in which you desire. Okay. Don't give up hope either for some of you. Let's see when it comes to love, where should the focus be? Yeah, I know this is like my favorite deck. Thank you. That's too many. When it comes to, thank you. When it comes to love, it says, how does, how does my body want to move today? It says, we, when we move, we change our state and our, and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? It is time to try something new. Keep your dreams alive. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's time for you to try something new. Are you keeping yourself blocked in and closed in and what the norm is? Are you constantly attracting the same negative energy, the same negative vibe because you haven't fully released and let go of that past ex, that past lever? What is it? Is your body fluently moving to get and break down stagnant energy? Um, how is your emotions? Are you holding on? Are you holding things in? Are you running away from your own truth? Are you accepting that you are still hurt or what is it um how does my body want to move today are you actually allowing yourself to be free okay it says today so action how does your body want to move today listen and joyfully do some of you guys are needing to take that break some of you guys are needing to take a vacation go on a vacation if you guys are in a relationship also if you guys are in a relationship i'm getting here that keeping your dreams alive is don't forget to talk about the plan the plan to take you guys to the next level don't forget to include each other on what you guys want teamwork make the dream work how are we uplifting each other are we motivating each other are we are we pushing each other you get what i'm saying are we striving for the best are we have we gotten comfortable and complacent keep your dreams alive what was the vision for the relationship where did you guys see how are you guys going to take this relationship to new heights and new levels Okay, give me one more. Okay, that was two more. Don't want that. Give me one more. Okay, listen. Because they got a lot to say. Okay. One more for the collective. For relationships. Thank you. It says, how can I deepen my trust right now? It says, trust, surrender, let go of the will. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others trust creates creativity and when we feel safe we feel unstoppable do you trust yourself to make the right decision is crazy because i just posted in the group today i trust myself do you trust yourself to make the right decisions for you are you trusting yourself have you fully surrendered to yourself Okay, trust, surrender, let go of the will. The will is constantly moving, it's constantly going. But the more you hold on to it, the more the more it does this. It can't turn, it can't turn, it can't turn. There, there is there's um something stopping it, there's something preventing it, there's something blocking it. There, you know, um, it's like um it's like what is that? The little the windmill things that takes the water up and then the rock gets stuck and then it stops it and then it just keeps building up pressure and then it finally just like releases and then the water starts flowing smoothly again that is exactly what i see here it's time for you to release whatever obstacle blockage challenge delay setback heartbreak um failed relationship uh whatever outdated beliefs you have about yourself it's time to it's time to start trusting yourself in the decisions that you're going to be making moving forward okay so with that being said let's hop right into some love I got love on. Look, trust and romantic feelings. Some of you guys are needing to trust how you feel about a situation. You get what I'm saying? Your feelings, it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. And some of you guys have been trying to run away and hide and not accept how you truly feel. But trust is here. And trust is saying, I'm trying to guide you. I'm trying to show you that it's okay for you to love this person. It's okay for you to open up. It's okay that this person touches your soul. You get what I'm saying? It's totally fine. It's okay okay it's, it's fine it's okay it's okay that you are in love it's okay it is okay it's okay to be free with this person you don't have to put up boundaries you don't have to make excuses you don't have to put up you don't have to create your own obstacles and then try to blame the other person because you've created an obstacle you get what i'm saying it's okay to trust this situation is what spirit is saying <laughs> It's okay to express how you feel. Come on, throw chakra. 
It's okay to express how you feel. It's okay to let them know, I love you. I don't want to lose you. I don't want you to go nowhere. You make me happy. It's okay. Allow yourself to be vulnerable in that space. Okay? So, let's keep it keeping. So, anyways. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you know somebody who needs to hear this video, please share it with them. I'd appreciate it. Max love and appreciation. So, Spirit, what's over our energy for love, for the collective? What's over our energy? Give me something good. Separation. Mm. Separation. Okay. So, some of you guys could be separated, going through a separation, going through a breakup. <sighs> Playfulness, flirting. Some of you guys were caught cheating. Some of you guys, somebody went through your phone. Look. Unrequited love. Some of you guys were caught cheating. Okay. This was for some. Some of you guys were caught cheating. And this was what led to the separation. Other of you guys are realizing that you don't want to be in this relationship no more because the love was unrequited. <clears throat> there wasn't an equal give and take. You couldn't be yourself. This is what you're starting to realize. You're starting to understand like, you know what? It's okay for me to feel like this. It's okay. And this is what's leading to this separation. Because in this relationship, there is no love. There is no spontaneity. There is none of that. There, there is no passion. There is no, there's nothing. It's just, it's, it's just the relationship. And that's what it is. You get what I'm saying? Um, and 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 you guys have been together just because it's a relationship. And now you guys are finally going through this separation and you're finally, finally finding yourself. You're finally realizing that this love was a love but it's no longer a love and now i want to take myself outside of this i want to go be free i want to flirt i want to be playful i want to find somebody who's in alignment with me um unrequited love and then trust and then deception look like i said for some of you guys you guys were stepping outside of the relationship because the love was unrequited you wasn't getting what you need out of the relationship and this is what led to the separation and you're needing to trust that this love that was unrequited is the best decision loving yourself first is the top priority here because if you can't love yourself and if you're not getting the love that you needed but you're constantly pouring for your cup this is just like the analogy i said today damn the analogy that i said today was a person will only do what you allow you understand me but if you give a person the opportunity to milk the cow, they're going to keep milking it. They're going to keep milking it and 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 milking it, milk it, milk it, milk it, milk it until there is no more milk. And then when the milk is all dried up and when it's all gone, they're going to look to you. They're going to blame you for not for for not having what they need in order for them to survive. But and then you look at and then you look at them and then you look at yourself and say you are the problem because you don't have any you, you you don't have any more love to give you get what i'm saying so anywho i just gave somebody that analogy today about a person will milk you until you are dried out and that's what happened here and what happened was the person wasn't being honest they wasn't being truthful with how they felt they kept telling you they loved you but they did not they kept telling you they want the relationship to work, but they did not. They kept telling you, oh, we can make this work, but then they wouldn't do anything to make the relationship work. So what happened here is your intuition started kicking in and your intuition kept telling you like, oh, you know, there's more to this situation. There's more to life. There's more to a relationship than just being in a relationship. There's more to relationship than just the title. And that is why love yourself first is here because some of you guys had to go through this whole cycle to realize that you deserve more and there is more out there. Um, like I said, others, you guys, you were texting, talking, whoever you were talking to, getting what you needed, but it wasn't enough and you just got tired of it and you went through a breakup or a separation. Now, <clears throat> give me one more just because I want four. <laughs> give me one more. Thank you. And then we have soulmate. Exactly. Exactly. Because I just wanted to see what was going to be in the middle here. You have separation. You have soulmate. And this play and this flirt, this is what you've been doing with your soulmate. You met somebody new, obviously. Um, and maybe for some of you guys, you guys just got out of a breakup or a separation. And you guys are back on the scene. You're flirting. You're getting to know people, stepping out, having great conversation. And you ran into your soulmate now because you was in a situation to where the love was unrequited. You're looking at this situation like, mm, I don't know if I want to engage. And this is what's causing the separation or distance or this is what's causing problems and frictions between you guys because of the situation that you just got out of. 
okay? You have past life relationship, romantic feelings, and children. Some of you guys could have been dealing with someone from the past and you're still holding on to feelings from this person to the past. You could have children with this person or um, they could have, a, have had a child that you are attached to. And through this separation, you're it's like you want to go back because of the connection or because of kids or because you were attached to the kids or there's something to do with this child here is there because it's two kids so it could be two kids involved you get what i'm saying i don't know um oh i never really noticed this but it could be um it could be a whole little shindig because she's holding on to a little dog you get what i'm saying so obviously there's some type of attachment here and you're looking at this like dang we got a lot of history we got this we got that we got these kids blah blah, blah. but this is that's what you need to pay attention to that's the red flag the red flag is the kids always going back because of the kids or always be going or, or always getting attached to people and you get attached to their kids and then that's how you end up being in a relationship and they end up using you and taking all your money and all this is down the third i don't know take it how it resonates but this also says stay optimistic about your love life you deserve love and free yourself with very soon this is saying that you need to decide what it is you want um and the opportunities that's presenting themselves to you need to give the relationship a chance because when it comes to this situation right here this separation is happening because there was unrequited love. This separation is happening because of somebody being childish or inconsiderate in a relationship. This separation is happening because a person would always tell you that they wanted to make the relationship work, but then did nothing to make the relationship work. So instead, you would keep staying instead of ignoring your intuition, you would keep staying because maybe there were kids involved. Maybe you guys did have a family or maybe you were attached to the kids and you didn't want to walk out on the kids and you're trying to take the kids into consideration. I don't know. This message is going to resonate with everybody differently. Or this person could have just been childish. But you're looking at this like, we grew up together. We loved each other in childhood or what so have you. Whatever it is, you're needing to pay attention because that's the cycle that you're needing to break. Because you deserve love and you deserve better spirit is telling you to free yourself from this situation. Um, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. So let's see what the overall energy is. One more. Okay, the overall energy is getting to know each other. And that's you going back out, flirting, dating, getting to know each other, getting back out there on the scene. So for some of you guys, you guys have been getting to know each other, someone else, someone new. And this new love that's trying to come in or that's needing to come in or wanting to come in after this separation is getting to know each other and worth waiting for with honeymoon. There could be distance separation between you and someone that you've known from the past and they're wanting to come back in, take things to the next level with this engagement card here. They're wanting to come back and make a make amends, but you're still needing to release your ex. Some of you guys could be holding on to your ex because of finances, because um, they depend on you financially. And this is another reason why it's hard for you to let go, because maybe you guys have a business together. You guys have a house together or you guys are money is just invested into each other. You get what I'm saying? So it's like if you leave, they ain't going to be able to pay the rent. That type of thing. If you leave, they're going to be struggling. If you leave, they ain't going to have no groceries. That type of thing. And me personally, I just feel like that's not enough to stay that this person, you and this person have known for a while this relationship has been done. So it, when are you going to start taking the necessary steps to protect yourself? When are you going to start taking, how, how, many, how many times are you going to make the excuse of, oh, what about my finances or, 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 or oh, what about um, them and how are they going to survive? How long are you going to use that as an excuse to keep yourself stuck and stagnant in the situation that has no growth? Okay. Um, and I'm not judging you, but I'm just genuinely asking a question. Those are questions that you need to ask yourself. Look, that's why very soon is here. And then you have retreat because you're refusing to retreat because you're trying to work on a family with children. Definitely some family type of situation is here. You're wanting to really work on this, but at the same time, calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate while you are trying to understand how this situation is going to unfold because you know the, um, the love is unrequited but you never did trust your intuition but now i feel like you're starting to trust your intuition and go towards more of what your intuition is saying and to me me personally me honestly if i had to give you advice that's the best thing to do because at the end of the day if, if the relationship is dead if there is kids involved if the relationship is dead and there is kids involved what type of relationship are you showing them that they're going to be in when they grow up like what what they see you doing right now is what they're going to be accustomed to one thing that they need to surrender to okay or give me a few 
Thank you. One, surrender to receiving love and support. And I feel like that's what was missing in this situation. In this situation, all you wanted was to feel loved. All you wanted was to feel supported. All you wanted was to be heard. And that's why I said for some of you guys in a relationship, you guys are needing to talk about dreams. You guys are your goals, your aspirations for each other, for one another. You guys, you guys don't forget to push each other. Don't forget to be the backbone that the other person needs. Don't forget to be that support system. And I just feel like that's the blockage here within this relationship. The relationship has lost its foundation. So there is no equal give and take. There is just a person giving, giving, giving another one, taking, taking, taking. And then when the person tries to walk away, they try to give, give, give just so they can continue to take, take, take. Your need to recognize and realize this is a cycle. Um, for others of you guys, look, this is what you're in denial about. This is what you haven't accepted. This is what you're having a hard time with understanding. And this is why things when you try, when it's time to create, this is why things, there's some type of hold, there's some type of stop, there's some type of delay. Every single time you get two steps, you take four steps back because, because you're in this energy here. Because you're not really accepting, you're not really accepting this, that this person does not support you how you want to be supported. You're not accepting this. You're saying that they do. You're making excuses on why they don't. And spirit is saying, if you want, if you want this to, if you want what you're trying to do to create, if you want it to thrive, then you need to look, look at yourself in the mirror. You need to do some inner reflections and you need to think outside the box here because you're in denial. You're not accepting the situation or reality or whatever it is. You're not, it says, accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things more clearly and make the best decision. And the more that you don't accept the situation for what it is, the more you live in denial, the more you realize that what, the more you try to make excuses on why someone doesn't have to give or why the more they make excuses on why they don't have to give the more the excuses are made from the both of you guys the more you guys point blame the more this gets turned back around on you so you can turn it back around on them so they can turn it right back around on you the more your creative your creative drive your 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 passion your your life will be on hold and this is something that you're not seeing. And all the while, you're trying to keep the faith. You're trying to believe. You're trying to stay happy. You're trying to stay optimistic. But Spirit is saying, what about staying optimistic for yourself? Period. Okay? So, hmm, I said what I said. Let me, um, let me pull a few of these. And then I pull best advice and I'm gone. Okay. And then any additional messages for the collective? So we have the full. We have the six of pentacles. We have the three of wands. Mm. Mm. We have the three of wands. What else? The three of pentacles. Give me one more. Okay. The three of pentacles and the seven of wands is in reverse. Okay. But I don't really read these cards in reverse. So we're going to take them as they are. You want liberation. You want freedom. You, you're you losing control of your life. You're getting so distracted on everything that's going on around you to where you can't breathe, you can't think, you can't sleep, you can't eat, yet everything is off. Everything is off. Everything is off. Yes, you may feel good in the moment, but when you get by yourself, that, that's, that's when it starts to kick in. That's when it starts to settle in. That maybe you just aren't as happy and content with your life as you're putting on, as you're portraying. That's why the Nine of Pentacles is here with the, with the Knight of Wands, okay? The Knight of Wands is in reverse. So that's why that energy is here because it's like you're still feeling overwhelmed you're still feeling overworked you're still you're still feeling away however this way is for you you're still feeling it because your your feelings your emotions are are being tested at this time what it is you want your intuition um are you going to keep accepting the bare minimum okay look and you could be accepting the bare minimum from maybe a gemini maybe any type of water sign scorpio um hmm. Scorpio Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, Gemini Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Um but this person is is this is manipulative energy. This person is looking at you, they've met with they've emotionally withdrawn out of the situation. They don't have any they don't know. Listen, I'm not about to do this with y'all because I'm about to go. So when I see the fool here and I see the six of pentacles, it's time for you to go towards something that's going to um help you create joy 
that's why the three of pentacles is here because whatever it is you want you can have it this three of pentacles here with this three of wands is basically saying the world is yours all you have to do is go get it all you have to do is strategize all you have to do is just tap into it the three of pentacles is here with the seven of wands in reverse it's because it's like there is some type of disconnect and there is a need for you to set up healthy boundaries because at some point the boundaries within a relationship or the boundaries within yourself have been used and turned against you there's no need for you to fight there's no need for you to defend there's no need for that there's just need for you to walk away from something that's no longer serving you that's no longer working that's no longer in alignment that's why the fool is here that's why the six of pentacles is here because spirit is giving you this opportunity to go towards new look the fool in this card they hold the they holding chasing the butterfly the butterfly is free they 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 live in the moment you get what i'm saying um because they know that tomorrow they may not be here because the butterfly lifespan is so short so what type of energy are you giving out to the universe okay what's the overall message here keys on a ring many options decisions unconventional string along one night ten. give me one more i like you and then girl with the snake okay the overall energy is keeping your options open but you know you like someone else there's some type of feelings there's something here someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting one in a date you're wanting to go out you want to keep your option open but you're still holding on to a girl with a snake empath narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries and that's that queen of queen of cups in reverse with that magician it's just like they're using you they're charming you they're 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 and, and understand that the queen of cups is someone who's frustrated because they're not getting their way as well but that's neither here nor there look <clears throat> they know they someone knows that if you leave them you're going to have a much better life they know that they fucking know that and they try to come in stop that any way that they can girl talk yeah because they know once you get out with your friends once you go out have a great time you're going to forget about them you're going to move on um yeah so let's pull best advice Page of Pentacles, Nine of Air. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Air. And this is you coming out of some type of setback or delay. The Nine of Air with the Ace of Fire and the Emperor. This is you taking back control of your life, going for whatever it is you want. At the bottom of the deck, look, we have choose a new direction. We have in the near future. And then we have let go with success. Okay. Okay, first of all, give me one. Give me one for the best advice for the collective love picking. There's something better, period. Whatever you're waiting on, stop waiting because you have something better. Okay? Recovery, unlikely. Okay? The the, the chances of the situation being able to heal and recover is unlikely. Okay? Be assertive. Take action. Go towards what you want. So in the near future, look, it, even if you wait, settle, try to see if this is going to work, it's just not the right time. It's not going to work out. You're needing to forgive and heal this situation. And that's why forgiving and learning was there. Because you're needing to know what to forgive and what to release and let go in the past. The card that I kept playing with is um, forgiveness. And then we have cleanse here. And this is what you're needing to cleanse your energy of and forgive and heal this situation. Um, and forgive and heal what you can in this situation because this person may still hold resentments and try to make you feel like you ain't shit but at the end of the day you are an awesome amazing beautiful person who deserves the love and the life they wish to have okay stop compromising and trusting your intuition i'm gonna leave you guys there but just know there's something better all right see you guys later